So first things first, I wanted to make sure that I told my viewing audience, you lovely, attractive, um, loving people out there that you can achieve anything you want to. You know that, right? You know, there's no limit on this earth in terms of what you can achieve. There's no limit. There is no limit in terms of what you can achieve. The only thing that's stopping you is your mind. That's what's stopping you. Your mind telling you, I'm not good enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not from a good family. Blah, 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 blah. That's what's stopping you. In reality, there's nothing stopping you from being successful and from achieving your goals and from going after your dreams. Now, some of you may say, actually, Agostino, there are people out there who are doing the thing that I'm doing and they're way smarter than I am. And I just don't think I can compete with them. Fair enough. But I think nowadays, there is at least one example of somebody doing a job that through, you know, by all accounts, is a pretty difficult job, a job that a lot of people would imagine would require you to have some level of um, physical and mental acumen in able to do it, in able to do that job to a good level. There's at least one person out there in the world that you could point to and say, you are demonstrably smarter and probably well, you know, humanly able to kind of carry yourself than they are, yet they do the job. So if you're out there and you're doubting yourself, if you're out there and you're second guessing yourself, you're saying you're not smart enough, you're not handsome enough, you're not strong enough, you don't fuck enough chicks or whatever it may be, I tell you to check out this clip and whatever fears that you have about yourself, put them to one side because this man is the leader of the free world. This man is the president of the United States of America and look at his ability to just stand on a bike stationary with his foot on the ground. Look at his inability to do so. If he can be the President of the United States of America, you, whoever's watching this stream, you can be wherever you want to be. You know what makes that way more funnier than what it actually should be? is that for somebody as old and clearly, you know, struggling with a couple of loose screws here and there, he's pretty good at riding a bike. He looks like he's got pretty decent form, right? He doesn't look like he needs any assistance. He finds it easy to stop, right, by basically braking and taking one of his foot out off of the pedal cages as he comes on, you know, across the traffic whatever he is meant to be, I guess that's a little press stop he's meant to stop at, right? He's in good spirits here. He's actually doing a pretty decent job. And the easiest part when you're on a bike, especially when you're, I, I imagine anyway, right? The, easy, the hardest part will be riding it because you're having to balance yourself on two wheels going pretty fast along a, along a road that you could, you know, swerve into traffic any minute. But once you get your foot on the ground, once you get that foot there on the ground, that's part of the easiest job already done. You've got nothing else to do now. You can just stand there, have a chat. You could rest your arms on the handlebars. You could pull out a cigarette. You could eat a quick sandwich. You could sip a bit of your drink. This is easy. The job is already done now. It's done. The job is over. You've done the hardest part. You've done it. You've rested now. And instead, he somehow falls. How is that possible? How is that possible? How? How is that possible? <laughs> the, the only way you would say it's possible looking back at it is that somehow whoever he's riding up to must have had the biggest the most juiciest the most voluptuous bosoms he had ever seen in his entire life they were just glistening they had that you know that um rihanna um shine sheen thing that she has she has this like spray that girls put on their 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 flipping cleavage areas or sometimes even gay guys put them on it, it makes their pecs bounce right it was flipping flickering in an in an in, in that clear blue sky wherever they are it was flickering flickering it captures his imagination so much to the point where he was staring at those bad boys from across the road 
he saw those big juicy melons from across the road and he couldn't keep his eyes off of them. So he thought, you know what? I'm going to get a close look. I'm going to get a close up look at them. He pulls up closely to get to them. He smiles, of course, because, you know, who's not going to smile at a pair of bosoms? It's impossible not to smile. When's the last time you've seen a baby, you know, frowning as they're sucking on their mum's bosom? It doesn't happen. Okay, cool. Don't look again, but you know what I mean. And he continues, right? He's on the bike. He's taking a closer look. And he actually's like, you know what? Are those real? Is that, is that caramel I smell? Is that pineapple? Is that coconut? Right? <laughs> he's smelling and he's getting, look now, his tongue's coming out, he's salivating, he's seeing those bosoms and for whatever reason he forgets that the bike that he's riding, for whatever reason, I don't, I don't, don't ask me why, he's riding a mountain bike with many gears, not a single speed, but it has cages on the pedals. But he's also then ride, riding these very flimsy, free-running type trainer thing. So it's not even got clips on them. And then he somehow forgets that his right foot's got his, his right foot's on there. <laughs> and then he just falls because he's an old man. But he also happens to be the president of the United States of America. So like I said already before, if you are doubting yourself and you seriously don't believe in yourself and you think you don't have what it takes to be the manager of your store, to be the assistant of your whatever place that you're working at, to maybe get a bit of a promotion, to be allowed to go on extra holidays, to maybe get the keys, to maybe be able to, I don't know, do the rotor. Trust me, there's somebody out there way dumber than you are doing that job right now believe in yourself because if if this person can be the president of the united states of america i guarantee you can be a success too <laughs> honestly man hmm was <laughs> in the chat what drugs are keeping him on the bike i want to see that i want one of those mate how old how old is him fucking joe biden is he like 70 years old how old is he age <clears throat> so my bad put it up on the screen how old is this how old is this nigga how old is he 79 years old why do you guys why do you guys um elect such old presidents 79 how old is boris Let's see, let's see what my guy Boris ages. How old is Boris? Age. 79 years old, man. 58. Okay, don't get me wrong. He's not fucking 45. But 79 years old. Why do you motherfuckers hire... Um, sorry, hire. Elect fucking presidents that are that old. My, he's born in 1942. Some companies were founded then, then. <laughs> he was born when fucking what? Gillette was founded. When was Gillette founded? Gillette founded. When was it founded? Okay, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> he was founded before Gillette. <clears throat> Gillette was founded in 1902. So um, let's, let's see. Companies. Let's see here. Um, American companies <laughs> founded in 1940. <laughs> Let's see. Because he is, he is old. Okay, well, look all these companies that are founded in the 1940s. American Cable and Radio Corporation, Bob's Cola. Do people recognize it? Mac he was founded two years after McDonald's. My friends, are you guys listening to me on this stream? Joe Biden was born two years after McDonald's was founded. Look, McDonald's was founded. Look when McDonald's was founded. Look, look, 1948, 1940, May 15th. Oh my God. Um, Paper Mate, the Kosh Industries, Standard, we know about that vibe. So let's see 1942. Let's say a new date of birth. Arizona Airways, look at that. Oh my God. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 
one sec. Hello there, apologies for that, little technical difficulties, <laughs> got a little bit of a knock from the neighbours, but we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, apologies, 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 um, but yeah, Joe Biden is old as hell, man, Joe Biden is old as hell, holy shit, holy shit, <laughs> but yeah, big up everybody in the chat, big up everybody in the chat, um, what people are saying here is still smarter than Justin Trudeau, I don't, I don't know, I don't know about my Mr. Justin. I know Jordan Pearson hates Justin Trudeau. Well, somebody think of the men. <laughs> What's going to happen to all the men? Um, it's all a show. I didn't vote for him, brother. He's not my homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, whatever you say. <laughs> 